Hi everyone, and today we're going to be talking about Tavares' Pimp My Ride minivan. Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel about kit cars and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. So the other day I'm kicking back, uh, you know, Christmas holiday, hanging out, watching some videos, and boom, Tavares's uh, Pimp My Ride minivan comes up. And uh, it's pretty crazy because I actually own one of those vans. Um, I have a 99 Grand Caravan, and that's the one thing that he keeps saying it's a caravan, but it's actually a Grand Caravan. And when you look at the ad for him to actually buy it, it says Grand Caravan in there. The main difference is the different size in the uh, back end. And I, the wheelbase might be different too, but the back end is extended on a Grand Caravan. Pretty much everything else besides floor mats, whatever, would uh, also be exactly the same. I have the same exact engine, and uh, I kind of wanted to show you what an actual 99 Grand Caravan actually looks like if it's well taken care of and what it originally looks like stock. So let's check it out. All right, so here we have it, 1999 Dodge Grand Caravan. Now I've actually owned this car since 2000. I bought it when it was one year old and I've owned it ever since, so I'm the second owner. And to give you an example, everything is pretty much stock on this vehicle except for the rims. Uh, it used to have these really badass um, wheel covers and they would keep falling off after I get service. They would break the clips and stuff and they fall off and they were 100 bucks a piece. So after a while I finally complained and got some uh, wheels out of discount tires so that was cool. But anyways, uh, the difference between Grand Caravan and Caravan is this part here would start maybe back here. So it would only be the, grand, or the regular Caravan would start here. But the Grand Caravan adds like, I think it's 18 inches or something like that. So, but, you know, with the spoiler on this thing, it kind of gives you kind of a cool, nice, more modern look. Uh, I used to have logos on the windows, the back black windows, uh, which got me in uh, hot water with the association at my home. So I finally just ripped them off because there's never been a time where someone's called me up and said, hey, I saw those logos on your van and I decided to call you. So, <laughs> so now it's, it's all ready and I can leave it outside because my 33 factory hot rod is taking up my garage right now. And I thought it was going to take up one space, but it's taking up all three spaces right now with, uh, you know, the engine lift and all that stuff. So to show you what this thing looks like, this thing is actually in really, really great shape. Um, you know, I would actually call it mint for being 20 years old and you know i don't have a lot of door dings there's one right there but i got one little problem on the back bumper where there's a little bump down here you can kind of see it that was actually kind of my fault and uh but you can see this thing's in amazing shape so let's take a look inside and check out the interior. Now this Grand Caravan is actually a sport model, which is based off of a base model, but then kind of pimped out. Gives you the spoiler, gives you a bunch of things. You have the bench seat, you got four captain's chairs. However, they are in cloth. So the only thing I really don't have in this is uh, leather. Now over here, I did add an Alpine stereo, but the original stereo wasn't too bad. It just didn't have a lot of EQ control. And this comes with a 10 speaker infinity system. Uh, so changing out that head unit to take advantage of that really worked out well. But throughout the whole van, you have tons of cup holders that retract, come back out. Um, you have the front air, but you also have the back end air, which is a separate system. You have handles everywhere. You have clips for putting hangers and hanging clothes if you need to. Um, back in the day, you actually had your garage door open, you, you, you stick it in there and then you just push on this and it pushes your garage door open. So this is before it was built in. I got a sunglass holder, a uh, full trip meter. I mean, it's just really nice and clean, clean vehicle. 
and so most of the is kind of like a I don't know a vinyl or like a vinyl plastic almost this is kind of plastic and this is kind of a vinyl um, but it is really really a nice vehicle your seats pop open for people to get in the back and uh, you could actually take I I normally had these two captain's chairs out and then I'd bring this one forward and uh, you could lay this down into a full bed or you could uh, collapse it but there's just tons of space there's even uh, storage bins in the armrest you can see all the uh, cup holders which are everywhere more storage space there's actually a pull-out cup holder there uh, you have all your own lights that you could pop on which is cool and then in back this was really cool uh, back in the day you know caravan Dodge really pioneered the whole caravan movement you know they, they kind of invented it but they had all these nuances like this these hooks are for grocery bags so if you have orange juice or cans or whatever in your grocery bags they're not rolling all around the car you just hook them up keep everything tight it's not going to roll around uh, you have your your tire iron and jack is in there on the side you got extra power outlets uh, full seat belts on all the seats so it's just really really a beautiful vehicle and all the badging on this vehicle was all chrome but i ended up trying to do some of the uh dip your car and the black looks amazing on this vehicle but it's a pain in the ass you know they show you in these videos like oh it's going to take five seconds to do this stuff when you get little tiny nooks and crannies like this it's really impossible to do at least the first few times i bet if you do it a hundred times you'd be great at it but doing it a few times doesn't really work out that well so you can see that we got the up and down windows we also have these back side windows actually uh, slide, slide out or open up tilt out and so these just open close out those vents um, but you can see I've had this car has 150,000 miles on it and it is basically mint on the inside there's a few marks in the back from you know moving some plywood and things like that and you could fit not only a full 4x8 piece of plywood in there you could actually if you pull down the handlebars you could actually fit a full Harley Davidson in the back of the inside of this thing now here's a 3.3 liter that Tavares was showing everybody and it's kind of funny because just recently I replaced not only the belt I replaced the water pump I replaced all the idler pulleys inside and you know it's kind of difficult to work on an engine like this because the transverse engine is just a pain in the ass you can see there's literally an inch of space between the pulleys and the sidewall in there where the tire is so it's very difficult but over the years some of the worst things of this vehicle was a lot of uh, uh, valve cover leaks at least four that I've had the engine mounts go like crazy so I've replaced at least four engine mounts uh, my windshield washer fluid tank you could see it's white instead of yellow that actually failed so I had to get that replaced about two three years ago um, and then they don't make them anymore as of like a year ago but your main gas pipes come up here and then there's a special connection that goes into your uh, fuel rail and it's one piece the fuel rail with that connection is one piece and so we couldn't get the the fuel rails anymore so what we ended up doing is just cutting this put a new hose and a new type of clamp on there and we fixed a, uh, a major gas leak that I had once that was not fun gas pouring out of the bottom of your vehicle but besides that this thing's solid same issues I've repaired these lights before and uh, grounded it down a little too far but you can't you can't see it while you're actually doing it until you put the clear coat on and go oh that doesn't look good you know another thing is is I've seen one of these vans pimped out and you know it's 20 21 years old at this point and I've always kind of dreamed about putting historic plates on this thing putting a nice pearl paint job on it pimping it out and throwing it at a car show but I knew no one would give me the time of day on that so 
maybe Tavares's video will change that and people will actually start doing something with these vans and bringing them to shows. It'd be kind of cool. So in general, it's an amazing vehicle. I'm actually thinking about selling this. The, uh, you know, once that 33 hot rod is done, I'm gonna probably sell this vehicle and my Lexus and maybe get an RX350. But uh, just kind of wanted to give you guys a uh, overview of what this vehicle originally looked like and also what it looks like when you actually take care of your vehicle. You know, give it a wash and wax once every three months at least. Uh, you know, do the oil changes. If something breaks, go have it fixed. Don't trash the inside of your car. <laughs> it's like I see these other vehicles. It just freaks me out of how people don't take care of their stuff. In any case, thanks for listening, and uh, Tavares, if you need any advice on what looks stock, feel free to give me a call, but uh, sounds like you're going to be pimping this thing out a different way anyways. And if anybody's interested in the 33 Hot Rod build, please check out my channel, Street Rod Jim, and uh, have a great day.